and achievement. And they're doing it at their own pace. And they're embracing life as an adventure later than society thinks they should. That is what a late bloomer is. So you're just a person going on an adventure. Maybe you had a divorce, a relationship breakup, or you got fired from your job and now you gotta like reinvent yourself and you're on this path of figuring it out, like what that looks like for you. You would be considered a late bloomer because this happened at a later stage that maybe you anticipated happening. Or maybe you're like me, you know, it took me a while to get comfortable with my looks, you know, a long while. So I had to grow into it. And that was one of the areas that I had to go through this process of self-discovery uh, to figure out, you know, me in that area. And it was, it was interesting. But anybody who is basically fearlessly on a journey. Now, when we say fearlessly, you know, there's usually some fear involved, but you're still proceeding to do it anyway. You are a late bloomer. And I want that to be something that people own. There's nothing wrong with it, right? Society says, hey, you should be here at this point. But if we were all exactly where society should say we should be at that exact moment, what would society look like? Some of us need to bloom later than others because maybe we're the missing piece to something that is already in place and the timing wasn't right for us to bloom before because then it wouldn't the world wouldn't have been ready for what we're blooming into. Now, we're blooming now and this is the right time for us to be blooming because we are ready though and even if we're not ready we've already agreed that we're going to fearlessly do this anyway we're going on this journey we're going to see what life has to what adventure is awaiting us what life has to offer us because many of us you know we're tired of what life used to look like what the day-to-day -day that we already knew what to expect we're missing that adventure we're missing that self-discovery missing that all of that we're missing it and so we've decided that you know we're going to go on this journey and like I said, maybe you wouldn't have voluntarily just went on this journey, but life has a way of life and you ended up on this journey. Now you're here and I want you to embrace it. Who is this? I think next we should answer the question like, who is this channel? I kind of just told you what a late bloomer is, but I, I still think I can answer the question of who is this channel for? I think we're all on this journey in life and we all need to find our tribe. We are communal people. We do better together. So this channel is for someone seeking encouragement and practical tips for navigating their own unique journey. And it is someone who's, you know, wants to grow, wants to build community and be around other people who are blooming at this point in their life. That is what that is who this channel is for. If you are ready to bloom, you want to not only share what you're learning with the community, you want to, you know, get practical tips to help you along your way, then this is the community for you. And sometimes we don't even need the tips because we know what to do. We just need motivation to keep going and support. Those are the two things that you will also find on this channel because those things are important. And I think it's important for me to talk about like who the heck is Jalal Wilson? Like, what are my credentials? My credentials for this are as follows. I am 43. I am on this journey myself. I'm not someone behind this camera acting like they got it all figured out. No, I am on the journey myself. And I decided, well, since I'm on this journey of self-discovery, building a brand, in real time, you know, learning what I need to learn to about people, how to build a community, how to work with uh, freelancers, how to do all these things. I'm learning all these things in real time as I'm trying to build this brand in a way that will allow me to have opportunities and work with people that I never would have been able to work with if I had not built this personal brand. So that is like the journey that I'm on and I don't have it all figured out, but I've asked myself at 43, I told myself it was almost a year ago. I asked myself a question, why not me? Like for so long, I was doing what a lot of people do is, you know, you get high off of just telling people your dreams. Man, I got so high. It always seemed like I was floating, I was so high. Because that, when I could tell people, oh, I wanna do this, I wanna be that, I wanna do this, I wanna do that. And instead of actually doing those things, I got off on just, I got high on telling people what I was gonna do. And I decided, I made a decision for myself because when you're talking about it and not doing it, you feel self-defeated. And I felt self-defeated for so long. This last couple years I've dealt with um, depression 
anger, resentment, all of these things were just overtaking me. And so I made a decision that it can be me. After I asked myself, my, myself the question, why not me? I decided it can be me and it was going to be me. And to keep me motivated and inspired on my journey, I had to build a community of other people who are doing the same thing, who are going out, who are saying, you know what, I may not have it all figured out, but flaws and all, I'ma figure it out. I'ma go on this journey because I'm tired of what was and I know what can be if I'm willing to get out there and put one foot in front of the other. So I'm somebody who is just on the same journey as you. And in certain areas, I may be a few more steps ahead of you. And all I'm going to do is share what I'm learning in real time whether that be what I'm learning from books, whether that be what I'm learning from people, whether that be uh, interviewing people who have already done it. I'm going to bring those things to you because I want to support you on your journey and supporting you on your journey helps me on my journey. So we're all in this together. And those are, you know, just my credentials, just being, getting to the point where I was just sick and tired of being sick and tired of not doing what I was capable of. The 12 year old me thought he could own businesses. He could, uh, he was gonna be a great businessman. I'm trying to bring his dreams back to life. I can be a great businessman. I will own multiple businesses, but I had to take a step. And my step, my first step was getting crystal clear on what I wanted and then putting myself out there on camera to support and encourage others on their journey. And I know what you're thinking like, that, that's, that's all my credentials. Now, I want to, actually I'm gonna add one more thing to my credentials. I think the thing that is really going to make this work is the fact that I am willing to bring my full self to this. Like, as I discover, as I bloom, you're gonna see different layers. You know, this is the layer that you see now. As I continue to grow and elevate, you're gonna see different layers. And it's gonna be a journey to you watching me peel back these layers and me getting to experience, getting to grow with you as you peel back your own layer. And we don't know what we're gonna discover when we peel back those things. So we're gonna have fun doing it. This is going to be a fun journey and we need a, more fun on our on our path in our, in our lives. Uh, I know there's always gonna be some objection. Oh, well, you know, I'm too old to start over. I'm too old to now bloom. Yeah, you know, tell that to the, the, the guy who started Wendy's, you know, in his 60s. Tell that to anyone else who is, I have a mentor, he, um, he didn't start until his late 40s, early 50s. I know too many people who are started later on in life discovering who they are and what they wanted. We have to stop allowing these limited beliefs of what we can be and just accept the fact that maybe it just wasn't time for you to be, but you can be now. And how are we gonna get past those objections? Because I know they're going to be there. And th there's always gonna be that doubt of whether it's too late to catch up, play catch up at this point. I should just resign to be, you know, what I've been. I can't bloom now. There's always gonna be those rejects. And how we're gonna conquer those is by showing real life examples of other people who have bloomed and by relentlessly pursuing blooming myself. Like I want to show you people who have done it and I'm gonna show you as I'm doing it in real time. So if you can look at me, 43 year old, I have, you know, an AA in business from college 20 years ago. Probably, yeah, dang, almost 20 years. Yeah, 20 years ago, almost 20 years. I, you know, I'm not I'm not wealthy. I don't, I, you know, if, if, and if I can figure it out, if I can be resourceful, I'm a stay at home dad. If I can figure this out, there is no excuse that you can't either. It's just a matter of if you want to. Now, the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make you a promise. And my promise for this channel is I'm going to give you some, uh, I provide you with my authentic, transparent um, journey as it unfolds. Like I'm not gonna act like I'm something I'm not. I'm going to give it to you, you know, real. Because if I give it to you real, there's less for you to discover later that was fake about my journey, whatever. I'm just gonna put it out there because I want to inspire you to do it. Because if you do it, you don't know how that will, that, what the next domino of you doing what you're supposed to do will lead to somebody else doing what they're supposed to do. So if enough of us do what we're supposed to do in this season of our life, who knows what kind of effect we could have on the world. So I have to show you my journey uh, of blooming. And some days, you know, it's 
hard. But I, I will show you my journey because I want to inspire you on your And I will also share strategies I've learned. I read a lot. So I'm going to show you strategies that I've learned or I'm in the process of implementing and I'm going to give you the results on how the implementation is going. And as I said before, I'm going to interview people who have, who have bloomed. And, and blooming, you could, it could be later on in life, but maybe you're someone who just finally accepted your looks or finally found your style and now you're walking in in that or finally found it could be anything like you are blooming you went from one place to another you bloom i'm gonna bring those people to you to show that sh to show you that is possible um and i'm also going to build something that creates a sense of community because i as i stated before a lot of us late bloomers just need to be around other people who are doing the thing who are blooming who are not letting their according to society their untimeness stop them from doing what they know they should be doing and you just need to see it sometimes we need to see it to be it and i want you to see it so i hope this helps you to understand what a late bloomer is who is this for what are my credentials how we're going to deal with the objections that i know are coming and my promise to all of you late bloomers i i, I really want it to be something that we wear as a badge of honor because some people never decide to bloom whether you're late or not you still decided to bloom and that's a beautiful thing so if this is a journey that you want to go on make sure you subscribe like this video and leave me a comment saying i'm in let's go because i need to know that you're on this journey and all of those things you can do are free and only take a couple minutes of your time all right this is jalal wilson and i'm out and remember keep blooming